Hi everybody and welcome back to Losing is Fun with Empress Evil. I am Iken and this is the first episode of the second season of this series. Our brave adventurers took flight of their settlement when a fierce psychic ship was not beatable for those poor guys and before losing everything we packed our things, left the old place, and there we are now. So today we're going to set up a new base, and um, we're playing this game with the uh, Empress Evil Storyteller on the difficulty level of uh, losing his fun. It's not even getting showed here. Um, and yeah, so basically that means no good events can ever happen. The storyteller disables all good events. The only events that are allowed are events that are potentially having some bad side as well. So um, the goal of this series is a pretty much pure survival run. I want to see how, how how long I can live. We're already 120 days in. So the storyteller punishes wealth even harder than other storytellers, which means the wealthier your colony gets, the worse the attacks get. But look at this map, it's such a nice map. It's amazing. So we got at least lucky with that map, I'd say. And yeah, so if you like that kind of content, take a look at my channel. You'll find plenty of other RimWorld videos there, alongside with a selected few of strategy games that I love a lot. So maybe there's something that you like too. And if you find something you like, leave a subscription. You won't miss any future content and it would make me super happy as well so let's get started with this place here um having pretty much i don't know did i what are the resources on these guys i i can vaguely remember that we didn't flee with nothing at all or, or did we flee with nothing at all i thought the animals would have had some gear but turns out we uh just arrived here with uh with nothing at all really can't imagine that it was like that, but obviously. All right, so we're facing a pretty rough starting phase, but look at this beautiful place. There's going to be almost no attacks uh, from this side because there's uh, deep water everywhere. I don't think that raiders will be even able to spawn from this side. So the whole brunt of attacks will always come from this side. That's awesome. Really bad is I have seven people and I don't have any food, but I have guns. And I have a uh, workforce, so luckily the uh, work orders are still intact. So we're going to do the uh, usual things you got to do. I'm going to harvest as many agaves as possible because uh, that's raw food. I'm going to assign a lot of chopping orders here as well to fetch some wood as a building material to begin with because we're, we're poor. We're really having nothing at all. So the first directives here will be to fetch up the basic materials and uh, survive the mental breakdowns that will follow soon after. Because, well, I, I think the mental breakdowns here are already a done deal. So I just hope that we're not getting too much uh, murderous rage and stuff like that. Also, I'm going to mine out some steel here and I saw components somewhere too, there. So let's uh, do this. I decided that this corner here sounds um, looks wonderful to start a new base at, so I'm going to drop down a generic stockpile zone here, and uh, let's get started. Um, one good thing though that I'm noticing is we're also having a pl plethora of uh, animals here. That means I'm going to be able to slaughter a few of those if things really get dire. So that's good. That's really good. Um, apart from that, with the weapons I have available, it should be no problem at all to um, fetch some meat for the colony. So let's check out. Do I have anybody on the mining business here? So Zippy, do you really need to sleep? Need sleep now, Zippy? Good lord, Zippy is starving. So I, I guess we have to uh, do some sort of micromanagement here because uh, um, that can't go on like this. So let's uh, give Zippy some good food. There we go. I mean, it's not really good food, but it's a start. All right, and Django is uh, starting to gather up some more food as well. And uh, well, 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 it's a really, really tough uh, start here. 
we're practically having nothing at all. And uh, a lot of people are very, very needy at this point already. So Gaxo is also on um, this. All right, so I can't force Gaxo to anything, but Django I can force. He's a he's a, having a good mood. So first things, um, we're we're getting gathering up all these agaves, and uh, everybody is already uh, swarming towards that stuff, and uh, we're getting raided right away. I love this. Welcome to Empress Evil. I mean, this is this this uh this storyteller is uh seriously uh a little bit too much, but at the same time, I just like that. I I don't I don't know how long we're going to survive that. So, but I'm certainly going to try to do. Um, I can uh disable Gaxo because with the EMP launcher, um, won't be good for anything. Um. Now, Django, you can't just harvest gaves like you want to. Alright, but I have a lot of gunners available that should be uh, able to fight those guys back. Maybe we're going to get some nice loot out of that too, who knows. So, I'm going to... Oh, I can't release any animals. No! It's so sad when you're, when you're that poor that you can't even re release animals. So we're going to use Django as a decoy here. Just uh, one of my favorite strategies, just is to make uh, to run to let nonviolent uh, people run in front of other enemies and just uh, attract fire. It's awesome because you you don't lose anything uh, and you get a lot of return because uh, the th this guy these guys start attack started to attack Django and uh, yeah. So we got that giraffe. Mmm, tasty giraffe. Um, I could also eat them raiders, but uh, that's not my style, you know? Just not my style. We're going to butcher creatures forever, and I think we're going to be a outdoor colony to boot with. But, um, well, we all started somewhere. Going to drop down some wooden walls here, and I'm going to clear one two three four five six and seven sleeping spots so all right um overall um i i think it was a uh, more of a good event for for me here not assigned to hunting all right who is assigned to hunting? Maria. All right. Zippy. Zippy? No. Dweeb. All right. We're going to take Dweeb for that. All right. There we go. That's, uh... All right. The dromedary tanked a lot here. So... Turns out I didn't, I wasn't able to uh, prioritize um, the the defense work on the dromedaries manually, but uh, it did tank for us big time. And this one is booted from the last time I read. So Zippy is uh, busy saving our uh, dromedary, and I'm uh, quite grateful for that. So, um, for dead raiders, I'm going to uh, have that stockpile zone here. So, let's uh, do this. It's only human-like corpses, no colonist corpses, and it's the important zone for that. Boom, done. So, this way, um, we're going to have the dead raiders being hauled into the, into the lake over there, and that does um make things a lot easier to get rid of um, bodies this way is quite cool because uh you don't see them anymore nobody uh hates it anymore because um overall people hated to see dead bodies and um they even decompose quicker up there I'm a little bit uh, distracted right now by all the necessary steps to take so how tired is Maria? Pretty tired. 
but we need some fire and we're going to cook simple meals until we have 14 of them all right so with this uh amount of uh people here i'll i want to have drawed um i want to have simple meals for everybody so we're, we're starting here to get civilization back into our um colony it's it's beginning all right so Zippy uh, is uh, not going to be able to do anything here. Okay, we're still low on food, but I have a full day worth of food available. That's a pretty good start. There's Giraffe back there. With those guns I have available, it's not going to be very hard to survive here, um, food-wise. Because... I should be able to uh, tackle down those giraffes easily. So one thing I want to get started right away with is I uh, want to mine that out. And we're going to make that happen. So did I actually think about bringing in the door? I didn't. <laughs> so yeah zane we we do need a door okay you got this nice and then he went catatonic the door was too much for him was imprisoned so you don't imprison uh your people you see let's rescue the poor guy lay down my friend and rest a bit we got you covered okay i even get milk from those drum dairies i didn't expect that um Apart from that, the rod is uh, quite visible here on the map. Everything is turning into a nasty brownish color here. So. Well, well. Um, I can also put out a fishing zone since I have all that water available. That would be a quite good thing. So, a non traditional exchange. The people at Fordal Rune would like to have 380 wildebeest pelts from me. They would send me a stone skin gland. I don't want the Altex robe that much, but a stone stink skin gland is uh, surely a nice thing. I mean, it's not like I'm having a uh, big old wildebeest herd right next to me, you know. Just saying that. Um, this really looks tempting to me, this offer. Uh, seems to be quite easy to achieve and well then again I think I have other troubles right now than uh, installing uh, stone skin glands into my colonists I don't even have the medicine to, to perform that uh, kind of operation so all right mental breakdown simulator is uh, going uh, strong again so we're having two people on a mental breakdown here so Zane went for a really, really long time there. The catatonic breakdown is one of the uh, biggest mental breakdowns you can book for. You know, when you're going catatonic, you're going for a long way there. It's a long vacation in your happy place in your head. And, uh, well, luckily I can uh, bring Zane through this. Um, one more thing, though. I want to, yeah, okay. We're getting the uh, mining here done because I want that shortcut for um, my colonists available as soon as possible because uh, this is uh, intolerable that I or or always have to walk this uh, long U-turn to get on the other side of the map. Uh, I can't do that. That, that would kill me. All right. So um, we're a little bit low on food at this point. So... I think it is about time to bring or heavy guns and hunt some giraffe. Um, I think Maria should go alone here, huh? And uh, we're having a tantrum on Dweeb and a heat wave is commencing now. That's really problematic because a heat wave will... Um, make the animals migrate off the map most likely and also i don't have any uh power and cooling well maybe we're going to uh, rely on 
passive cooling again. Old school, you know. Old school passive cooling. Let's just hope the giraffe won't go into revenge here before Maria has tackled it uh, enough to make uh, the kiting e easily possible. There we go. So that's going to be a nice food source for the colony, but I'm going to uh, shoot the other one too. So there goes the revenge. How quick is this thing now? 3.35. I'm pretty sure that Maria has a fair chance of uh, shooting the giraffe before it even reaches her, but uh, well, seems like she didn't get a lucky shot in here. But that doesn't matter anymore. The that thing is now having what a move speed of two cells per second. It's uh, very very easy to finish it from here. It's basically running uh, closer to my base from here on. All right, there we go. So let's. Uh, hunt that thing and I want to allow corpses in this storage here too because uh, it's a little bit annoying that we're not having anywhere to haul those things all right so three people on breakdown right now at the same time not bad not quite my record but we're 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 on a good we're on a good move here could become a record one day all right so I'm considering to uh, bring up some. Um, I'm considering bringing up some sleep rolls here because uh, the wood, to me, seems quite uh, quite a valuable um, good here. So good job dweeb so now we don't have a indoors room anymore well done um i don't even think that we're able to replace that right now gotta cut more wood before that but well that just uh just happens so they're now standing here and chatting a little bit that uh does make me feel relieved honestly um where does that steel come from, though? Ah, here, I mined some. Say, I already forgot about where I mined steel. So, Maria is doing the good work, hopefully. Yeah, awesome. She uh, calmed down people. Yay. And we're going to have a uh, horseshoe pin now, too. So, slowly but steadily, we're... we're bringing civilization back into this place and now for the bad rules um, with giraffes you get a lot of uh, leather so let's check out how much uh, leather I have available Zippy is starving what a, what a pity I should uh, let Zippy have a bite after um, she's done with cooking all right, so I'm going to give these now bit by bit to the people who are able to enjoy it. All right. Heat stroke for Zane. Uh, that's what I was expecting somehow. So it's uh, actually warmer inside than it is outside. Damn. So luckily I have that wood, great. So we're able to build a passive cooler from here. Or, nah, nah, no half measures here. We're going to build a, a real solar generator, it's 100. And uh, the cooler is 90, that's more than I have right now. But let's check out the wind power, it's 100 towards two more components here so I'm going to use the wind power for now and uh, kind of look for a spot where I can um, put down two of them later because that's just powerful so let's do it like that and I don't have uh, the steel right now to uh, bring subsurface conduits so but I don't want to have uh, 
half measure things here in the base. All right, so Maria is not that tired. We're going to uh, do that here because um, the sooner I finish these things, um, the quicker we are having a an end to these heat strokes. All right, so. I'm going to check out Zippy. Zippy, you're going to eat some, and then you're going to mine some. In situations like these, micromanaging your colonists is absolutely worth the pain, because uh, this way I get now the materials necessary for uh, the coolers. Um, so alpha beavers are now going to decimate whatever uh, wood was left in this area. And, oh, they ate that anima tree. Dang. Well, that anima tree died quicker than I could say ouch. Okay, so now after that's done, let's uh, order Maria after the... Uh... Wait a sec, we don't have enough steel here? Or did we already dump steel in? Yeah, there's enough steel in there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that now... Um, we're going to uh, be able to live through that. Okay, so we're having an earthquake and an a elephant going mad at the same time. Well played, Empress, well played. Two bad events at one time. Gotta admit, I haven't seen that, that trick before. Okay, so the uh, temperature problem for Zane should be now um, not a problem anymore. Well, so uh, not as comfortable temperature range yet, but uh, he's going to get there. Wow, that uh, elephant went uh, got here quick. So, um, Gaxo, you don't need to uh, you don't need to uh, fire with a uh, EMP launcher at an elephant. That's uh, not useful at all. Wow, that thing really uh, got here quick. Okay, so. Uh, Colonist. There's only one colonist needing treatment. All right, so I want to remove the hunting priority from Gaxo to get rid of that uh, annoying uh, warning here. All right, but apart from that, that was the elephant event. Okay, so nice, we got some elephant now. So let's uh, give that one to Dweeb and all right, let's give one to Zane. Come on, poor guy. You got a real bad now, and it's even excellent, Zane. You see? We care for you. Okay, so there's a bulk goods trader arriving at our place. Maybe an opportunity to uh, buy some good things. I don't know yet. So, the drought is ending, at least something. All right, food supplies are not looking too nice yet, but we're getting there. All right, I do need more steel, so keep it coming, my friends, keep it coming. I'm going to see, trade with Rowan. So, let's check out what we can do here. So, I could sell out some of those uh, dromedaries. I'm going to sell away one pair of them. Um, that's completely okay for me because I don't need the, those many dromedaries. If I remember correctly, back when I tamed them, I did it because I wanted them for sale. So, so it's okay. I want one uh, female for breeding um, purposes though. and. Since this uh, dromedary is so badly wounded, I'm not going to sell it away either. So, I mean, the uh, income of milk is quite nice, but whatever. I'm going to uh, bring as much steel as I can afford um, for this trade. So, it's going to be helpful. I know that I have a lot of steel that I can just mine out here, but there are so many uh, projects that need to get done as quick as possible. Take alone this uh, steel stone cutter's table. I have to make it out of steel because uh, 
I just don't have the necessary amounts of wood available in this colony and because of that I just uh, prefer to um, build it completely out of steel but it's already those 110 steel I just uh, bought so costly so there we go so to me quite important right now to um, get working on those stones as quick as possible because I want that uh, warehouse uh, I, I can't live with um, my goods being lying on the under the open sky that's uh, just uh, it's just intolerable to me because uh, I don't really want to um, um, I don't really want to have that stuff deteriorate all day and I want to have some freezer at one day too so we have a few things to do um I need a dumping stockpile zone here dirty cooking area you bet we're cooking on the floor period that's all we're doing here so enjoy the pukies I, I can't change them all right so we're building one copy of that and there's uh, enough elephant leather to do one more of those so there we go all right I mean It could be worse, you know. So there goes one for Django. There goes one for Paul. So only two more uh, bed rolls necessary until I have uh, beds for everybody. So it's not that bad with our beds. All right. I can't uh, put up the warehouse walls here because I would block my uh, wind turbine if I would do so. So it's going to be a very uh, small warehouse here. I'm going to use steel doors. So yeah, we're getting a, 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 a pukey roundabout. Okay, and a heat stroke on Zane. Damn, how bad is it for him? It's uh, initial, okay. I guess that heat wave should end sometime soon because uh, can't be uh, forever like this. And this heat wave already lasts 1.6 days, so chances are we're going to get be put out of our misery here quite soon. There we go. On cue. Just when I said it. Not bad. Okay. So, all right. Maria is not able to do anything. We're we're having the pukies, and uh, I can't order anything. They just do what they do. I have to accept that. All right. Well, well. Um. Components are running low. Let's see if I can dig out a few more. There's more. Probably even more behind those if I'm lucky. So apart from that though, I don't see there's more steel. Oh, there's more. Just uh, going to dig out all the stuff here because uh, I'm 100% sure that I'm going to make good use of it. So let's uh, bring up some real power building. Um, one geothermal generator, please, because it's about time. We, uh, we did what? We revealed an area? Oh, I see. Okay, I was uh, concerned for a moment. All right. So, more area revealed, I see. Okay, nothing too special. I'm going to drop a door here. Um, let's drop down some power conduits along here. And I just hope I didn't uh, mess it up, but well, no, I didn't. 
murderous rage on Zippy. He, she has decided to kill Dweeb. Um, no. Just no. So... I don't care if uh, we're going to lose that uh, area as um, sleeping area. We're going to arrest Zippy now before um, there's going to be um, a murder here. Come on, Zippy. Don't be like that. So, there we go. Some giraffe meat rotted away. But, uh, it's okay. Wow. Murderous Rage is uh, one of those uh, things you really gotta act when that happens because, uh, like the name implies, they're really meaning it. They're really meaning it. Okay, so one more thing before um, my wood is empty. So we're going to set up a kitchen here. And let's do it right away because uh, once I have no more wood this uh, campfire here will uh, turn useless I'm going to toggle the uh, fuel input here off as well because I don't want to uh, waste any more fuel on that so the draught killed off pretty much all the forage here just uh, very happy about um, having so much beforehand accumulated here so I'm going to do what? So, we're pretty much out of food, and I only have one more food bar worth of food available, but I have plenty of hunters, so we're going to, we're going to shoot down some elephant today, I'd say. That uh, sounds like a good thing to do. All right, how are the needs of everybody. So we're picking up Dweeb and Maria and uh, we'll pick up yeah so these three guys will be the elephant hunter squad. Let's hope uh, I'm not going to kill myself with that. So the plan here is uh, to um, send Maria into a daze. Dang that was not the plan. All right so let's just hope um, I'm going to be able to kill off one elephant without provoking the whole herd all right there it goes all right nice because uh one elephant will uh definitely bring us somewhere okay um any cooks left sane and sound yeah all right good so the uh, rest of this uh, will be done manually as well but at least now we have one elephant for our colony and uh So, I mean, we might be a little bit low on food, but there's more elephants here. Alrighty, friends, that ends up episode one. We have a nice little shelter here. We're going to hunt more things and uh, build more bed rolls and, yeah, survive a little bit longer. I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. Thanks so much for watching. I enjoy um, this series a lot, and uh, we're going to see how long we'll last in season two. Until then, my friends, thanks for watching again. Have a wonderful time and see you next time. Goodbye.